man, influencers also, they just don't know when to, when to stop. And everyone wants to do the Ryan Garcia method, right? Everyone wants to do the Ryan Garcia method where Ryan was an influencer at first. And then he, you know, called out tank and called out tank and called out tank and called out tank and built a pro record. And then he got the tank fight and lost. What's up guys, it's board boxing back again. So Dean, the great man, oh man, you are shaking the tree. Um, all right. So you call, you call out tank. That was, you know, stupid, but expected. We all just expected that you call out Devin Haney. I'm like, all right, I don't really like Devin Haney. So cool. Fair play. Then you call out Shakur Stevenson dog. What are you doing? Do you have a death wish at this point? You call out this many people in that weight class. One of them is going to bite. And I think Shakur is the one to do it. Uh, I also think he's the one to completely shut your ass down. I mean, bro, look, look, you fought while lead, you beat him and you beat him pretty convincingly in that second fight the first one could have you know you could go and say oh this and that he's knocked down three times and then won the first time that whatever and you're a good boxer man i don't want to i'm not going to take anything from you man like you've obviously shown some commitment to the game but you're talking about shakur stevenson you're talking about ryan garcia you're talking about tank davis you're talking about devin haney these guys would destroy you and dean you know you're a lighter guy and you, you move I think you honestly move a little bit faster than Jarvis too, but you're not training at the level that these guys are. You don't have the experience that these guys have. And Shakur, you need to stay away from doing all this pandering to the influencer side. I, I understand it might actually be helping your image because people that just don't know about you or you know, casual fans or whatever, passerby fans that don't know who you are, which I don't know how they wouldn't at this point. It, dude, they, they, don't, they don't actually know. And they're not going to actually buy that fight. So unless you're going to do a freebie or you're going to release it on YouTube and give, you know, get money off views, dude, stop entertaining this bullshit. This is, this is a difference, right? We're not talking about like the KSI or Jake Paul, because these are like the originators, the pioneers. They already have all the platform. They are the money maker. Dean, you're not, you're not like this huge draw, right? So Shakur Stevenson comes out who has a big draw in boxing in professional boxing and goes, Oh, I'm going to fight Dean the great people are gonna be like, who, what are you talking about? Dean don't sell Don't, you know, Shakur don't sell yourself short, man. This is not something you have to do. You know, you don't have to do this. Uh, I understand everybody's got pride. You got to make sure that no one's, you know, getting the best of you in a certain situation, especially online. I get it. We're in the age of the internet, but man, leave it alone. It's not, it's not for you. You don't need to do it. You don't need to do it. You got to fight with Ed Edwin De Los Santos coming up. You should probably be worried about that because De Los Santos is a fucking dog. And he might take your head off. I think you're still going to win that fight and just being the tactician that you are. You've got a ring, you got a ring IQ uh, that a lot of people t double your age will never gain. Uh, you, you've, you're in the game. You, you completely understand what you're doing. And you know how to use the power to your advantage, man. You know how to get in. You know how to get out. And you don't just, you don't just go back out. You go left. You go right. You, you are difficult to toy with against a pressure fighter like Edwin De Los Santos. So don't underwrite him, though. Don't write him off. Don't look past him to deal with some influencer bullshit. Because if we hear, if you lose to Edwin De Los Santos and you, and you start saying some shit like, oh, I was distracted or this or that or start making excuses, man, that, that's a bigger scar on your record because then you're going to just join these influencers just because you need the paycheck because if you if you lose now before fighting Devin Haney or before getting all these other big fights that you were talking about getting last year that's going to be an issue bro that's going to be an issue because you are tailor-made for Edwin De Los Santos and he's a dog but he did get knocked down by Valenzuela and we saw what happened there he came back and won so you need to make sure you're on your shit I hope you're just mentioning Dean as, as a way to get clickbait and people to, to know who you are and potentially buy your fight with Santos but God damn, man. Don't entertain all this shit for that long. All right, that's all I got.